Do fitness trackers really help you lose weight? Well, let's see what the study says. Be sure to like and subscribe for more info. Hi, I'm Jeff Allen, the Study Finds Guy. With so many options from Fitbit to Garmin to Apple or Amazon wearables, having a step counter and heart monitor strapped on wrists has never been more popular. A recent study out of the University of Minnesota shows these digital devices could be well worth the cash for people trying to shed some pounds. <laughs> I lived in Wisconsin for a while. I can make fun of Minnesota. I have a relative who I shall not name who will sit in a chair and just swing his or her arm back and forth to keep the tracker going if he or she does not have time to exercise that day. You know who you are. <laughs> Around two and a half billion adults in the world are overweight or obese. This increases the risk of a range of diseases that are responsible for 70% of deaths and 85% of healthcare costs in the U.S. alone each year. More than a third fail to meet the minimum recommended amount of exercise. That's about 150 minutes of moderate physical activity a week. So a fitness tracker may be just what the doctor ordered. Ordered? <laughs> I need to order a pizza. That's what I see. That's my problem. According to study author Dr. Zan Gao, quote, they allow users to set and track physical activity and provide constant reminders to get up and move, which promotes self-monitoring and self-regulation. See, that's where I would get irritated. That thing keeps poking me to get up and move. It'll probably end up getting thrown across the room. I know. I know. That's not good. Their research shows that fitness trackers do help overweight people shed pounds and reduce the risk of deadly illnesses, including cancer, type 2 diabetes, and heart disease. An analysis of 2,268 people reveals that a loss of just a few pounds can make a big difference. Dr. Gao said, quote, It's clinically meaningful in that only modest reductions in body weight of 5 to 10% attenuate adverse health effects associated with related illness. That's a good thing. The study used data from 31 previous clinical trials and looked specifically at the impact of fitness trackers on overweight and obese participants with related health conditions. Gadgets included Fitbit, Sensewear Armband, Jawbone, Polar, Smartwatches, Samsung Charm, Fitmeter, and Withings Pulse as well as wearable motion sensors. <laughs> they were worn from four weeks to a year. The volunteers had to set and meet goals based on daily steps or reaching at least 150 minutes of moderate to intense physical activity, usually brisk walking. All devices helped the users to lose weight and reduce their BMI. Using them for at least 12 weeks seemed to produce the best results. Step counters and accelerometers resulted in the most weight loss with an average of 9 pounds, 11 ounces. The commercial fitness trackers by themselves produced an average loss of about 6 pounds, and both types led to an average reduction of BMI of around 2. However, counters and accelerometers achieved the largest average BMI reduction of 3.4 when combined with components such as counseling or dietary changes. All right, I'm kind of tired here from reading all that. Uh, that should count for something, right? Uh, let me see. Get off your ass, you f lady, no good s I quit? What? <laughs> okay, well, maybe I, I might need to get up and move just a little more. Check out more detail in the link in the description below on this and other fine studies at studyfinds.com.